Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. So up to now, in the in, in Angular NGRX, we have created the post, we have updated the post, and also we have deleted the post also. So adding, updating, and deleting also is completed. So that too completely entire from the NGRX state management, we are dealing this one. Now we will go a little bit further into the deep into the NGRX. So before going into this one, what we'll try to do is we'll try to implement the lazy loading for this one. Okay, so in Angular it is common, right? So to implement the lazy loading. Right now the routing what we have implemented is only normal routing only. So let's try to implement the lazy loading. So first we will come from counter. So this is the counter, right? So let's create counter dot module dot ts. Counter dot module dot ts. And here I will be writing export slash counter module. Okay. And here this is the Add ng module, so ng module, and and here let's create the routes for this one. So what is the routes we need to do it? So routes, okay. We need to import the routes here, and let's go to the app routing dot module dot ts. I am I am taking this all counter, okay. I am taking this all counter. And what I can do here, I can paste it here and I can make it like this and I can import this counter component. Okay. And in this one, in the imports, what I can do is first I need to import the common module and router module for child and let's and import the routes here. Okay. Now what I need to do let's go to the app component app module and here what is the counter custom counter and these are all the components which are necessary for the counter let's copy these all the things and here let's add it in the declarations why because these components are useful for only this routing now counter component let's import all the dependencies and i am importing all the dependencies if I press control space bar, you will be able to import all the dependencies. Okay. So I have imported all the dependencies and I have I have created the routing also. Now here if I go to app module, we have removed all these things, right? Now remove the dependencies imports also here. If I try to remove the imports, these all counter components and all those things are not necessary. Right? Now here everything is fine. Now in the counter module, we are using reactive forms, I think. Or otherwise, let's see if any problem comes. Let's try. Let's see. Now here we have finished and let's go to the app routing module. And here it is a counter means. Now we can remove this component. And here I can write load children. Load children will take a method and it will import the counter module. So where it is present, counter slash counter module. And this returns the promise dot then and here it returns the module so you need to return the m dot counter module that's it finish we have made it lazy loading and here what i can do yeah it's everything is fine and i can remove this counter component also here and in this app module also we have cleaned it up not a problem and if you try to see here we are getting some problem ng model we are getting ng model so that means we are using ng model means it's nothing but what we need to do in the counter module we need to import the forms module okay now i saved this one now if i try to save and if it's not compiling let's remove and compile it again yeah now it's compiled successfully now let's go to the output and here if I go to the counter, see counter module.js file has separately downloaded. So that means we have implemented successfully, successfully the lazy loading for the counter. Let's try to implement for the posts also. The same thing what I will try to do is so let's close this counter module and home I am keeping it like this only. Why? Because this home is the only basic thing, right? So counter I made it and this post I need to make make it. So what I can do here, let's go to the post and let's implement a new file post.module.ts. Okay. In the same scenario, export class 
post module why i am writing these all the things means you need to you need to understand so phase by phase we will be going each one you need to understand how to implement the state management with normal routing with the lazy loading and all those things you need to understand so that is the reason i am writing so here i can write constant routes colon of ripe routes is equal to like this i will keep it for the time being we will try to copy from there and paste it here and here what i can do is common module this is the common thing which we need to import in order to work ng ng facing and all those things and router module okay we can go to the router module and we'll import the routing module here the so router module for child of routes we will import this routes here okay router module why it is getting error so it is getting error because we need to import it okay fine what are the things necessary here so declarations go to the declarations okay go to the declarations and here from the app module what we need to do is we need to get get rid of these three things copy these things and paste it in the declarations okay now what i will try to do post list component is gone so we need to import and here we need to import okay successfully we have imported declarations and common module rotor module everything is come so we are sure that we here reactive module is there right reactive forms module why because we have implemented add post and edit post yeah that's it now let's go to the app module and if you want you can keep reactive or otherwise you can remove it not a problem so i'm keeping it like that only it's not a problem so here i can remove these all the things okay so up to here so everything is clean now i can go to the post module here now i need to copy all the routes here now what i can do is let's copy the children okay these all children so i am taking this all the things okay or otherwise we can take from here to here directly and what i need to do let's go to the post module and paste it here so instead of the post here let's keep it empty and children add edit everything yeah it's fine i think it's nice we are set to go and here if it is a post means i can remove this all children component and i can load children and it takes a function import the component okay so post module dot then and it will return a promise as you already know m dot post module okay so we have implemented the this one also now what we need to do let's go to the top and remove all these all inputs unnecessary inputs we can remove it and the post dot module is also hopefully everything is completed and here we are compiling so let's take yeah it's compiled successfully oh you yeah, know no no some errors are coming router outlet i don't know so sometimes it will happen you need to rerun it again so if it happens like this means we need to rerun it again why because we are changing the whole entire structure right so it will take it will take some time to do so better you need to restart the server again see now it has executed without any problem counter module code new file has been created and also the post module new file also has been created let's go here and yeah let's run the counter okay let's go to the post it came without any problem open the add post it is working click on update post it is not working why it's not working let's go to console here we got problem node injector not found to create something so some problem is there in the edit post component template in the html3 oh here it is showing some form and here is also another form is there so what could be the wrong here mm, edit post in this edit post we got the problem oh it's everything is wrong here what could be the problem here yeah we got the issue so here we have used two forms here here we are having one form and here also we are having another form you can remove these double forms okay sometimes it happens if you are doing the fast coding it happens but you should be able to debug so that is the main thing so if you find the errors you should be able to debug very easily so here now we got the pro way we solved the issue without any problem and also we have did the lazy loading also let's try to do the update also whether the updating is working or not yeah its update is working and here let's update this one also it's working let's add the post here 
it's adding let's update this one it's updating this one also yeah everything is working let's delete this one let's deletion delete also is working so now we have successfully did the lazy loading of this application now in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to make the ngrx also lazy load how we can do the trend grx also lazy load we will try and how, why we need to make the lazy load of this ngrx state also we will try to learn in the next video okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you